We have so many concepts about God that have no foundation in who God really is. The foundation really is what we've learned about psychology and philosophy and looking at the world systems. And we need to come back to the reality. There was a voice that spoke in, in the 40s and the 50s that actually I think 30s as well, that had so much impact in so many lives. Many of you will recognize this name, A.W. Tozer. A.W. Tozer. This, this was a man that called people to a pure, reckless devotion to Jesus Christ, and he did it through this exalting, this lifting up of who God was. And he wrote this little book called The Knowledge of the Holy, perhaps one of the most important books that many people will ever read in their lives. In this book, he just goes through the attributes of God, who God really is and who God really isn't. And as he describes God, this vision of this beautiful, powerful, majestic, true God begins to grow and something happens inside of us. And our understanding of God begins to be based off of Scripture and upon God's self-revelation, not on us. You see, when it says that man was made in the image of God, it did not mean that we can look at man to figure out what God is like. It does mean that we can look at God to figure out what man is really like. But you can't look at the reflection to figure out the reality. If I'm walking down the street and someone sees my shadow and they try to describe me based on that shadow, they're not going to have a very full picture. They might kind of get a form depending on the time of day. It could be very distorted. But it's not going to be real. You, you can't look at the image to figure out what the reality is like. Look at the reality. So if you want to know God, don't try to look at what we know about psychology. What's the love of God? Well, psychology says that if we do this and we do this, that that's loving. But what does the Bible say love is? We have to actually define it by the Bible, not by psychology. What does it mean to, to be a full human, to, to be accepted, to be loved? We can't look at what the world is saying and say that that's the truth. We go back to the Bible. What does the Bible say? Because that's the foundation. It comes out of the self-revelation of God. Anything else is error. Anything other than the self-revelation of God will guide us down a road. It'll guide us down a road directly towards a tree, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. But God has called us to not figure out in our own ability to know what is good and what is evil, but to come to life, to the truth, to the one who is life, the Word, the Logos, Jesus himself. And in the tree of life, we find what's real. See, don't allow your understanding of what it means who God is, what God is like, what the attributes, the love of God, the justice of God. Don't allow human philosophy, don't allow what the world says to define what it's like to be fully human. Let that come from God because he's the only one that really knows.